Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Here we are going to discuss few examples on normal distribution, normal probability distribution. In last lecture also we have discussed normal distribution and few examples on normal distribution. Now here in this lecture again we are going to discuss the examples on normal distribution. This topic is from fourth unit normal distribution. See the example. In a certain examination test. 200 students appeared in a subject of statistics. Average marks obtained were 50% with standard deviation 5%. How many students do you expect to obtain more than 60% of marks, supposing that marks are distributed normally? See, no question. In a certain examination test, 200 students appear in a subject of statistics. Now the average marks obtained were 50%, means the average Mu, the value of mean is given, it is equal to 50%. See, write in solution, mu is equal to 50%. 50% means 50 upon 100. So you simplify this 50 upon 100 and the answer is 0 0.5. So the mean is 0 0.5. The average marks obtained were 50% with standard deviation 5%. Standard deviation means the value of sigma is 5%. 5% means 5 upon 100. You simplify this term, it is nothing but 0 0.05. Then yeah. after writing the value of mean and standard deviation, how many students do you expect to? obtain more than 60% of marks. Now to calculate how many students do you expect to obtain more than 60% of marks. Now here you assume that x1 is 60%. x1 is 60% means 60 upon 100. Simplify this term, it is equal to 0 0.6. Okay. Now we have to calculate how many students do you expect to obtain more than 60% of marks, supposing that that marks are distributed normally. So it is obvious that this is an example of normal distribution here. Now, after writing the value of x1, now you convert that x1 in terms of the z1, and the formula is here z1 is equal to x1 minus mu upon sigma. Z1 is the standard normal variable. Now, put the value of x1, x1 is 0 0.6, mu is here 0 0.5, and your sigma standard deviation is 0 0.05. If we simplify, it is equal to 2. Now see what is the question? How many do students do you expect? How many students do you expect to have to obtain more than sixty percent of marks? Means when we want the probability, next is greater than or equal to sixty percent. Greater than sixty percent. More than sixty percent means x is greater than sixty percent. Sixty percent means you know sixty upon hundred means zero point six. Find the probability when x is greater than 0 0.6. When x is greater than 0 0.6, we have converted x in terms of z. So you find the probability when z is greater than z1, because z1 is 2. Now how find the probability when z is greater than z1. Now you draw the diagram. Here the value of z1 is plus 2. So that z1, it lies in RHS side of the normal curve. Here is z1, z1 is equal to 2. Now we want the probability when z is greater than z1. Z is greater than Z1 means you find the probability of this shaded portion. Probability means you find the area of this shaded portion. This is nothing but the probability of the probability when Z is greater than Z1. Now, how to find the area of this shaded portion? You know that here the right side area, complete area, this is a normal curve. And this Z is equal to 0, it divides this normal curve into two equal parts. So the half area is 0 0.5. RHS side, this complete area is 0 0.5. You subtract the area of Z1 from that 0 0.5, then you will get the area of shaded portion. So your formula is here. Probability of Z greater than greater than 2 is 0 0.5 minus area of Z1 is equal to 2. Now you calculate the area of Z1. Z1 is equal to 2. You can calculate it from the normal distribution table. Here it is normal distribution table. Z is equal to 2. 2 is here, 2.0. The value is z1 is equal to 2. 
you should find in 2.0 and the difference is also of 0 0 because the value is uh, integer 2 2.0 so you find in the first column difference in first column is 0.00 so in difference is of 0 so you find the area in 2.0 2.0 difference is 0 so the area is 0.9772 this is the area you subtract 0.5 from this 0.7 0.9772 0 Every time you subtract zero point five from the every value because it is the table we have to subtract zero point five every time. So subtract zero point five from zero point nine seven seven two, and then you will get the area of that one is equal to two. So this is the area here. Area corresponding to that one is equal to two is zero point four seven seven two, and so you put here the value of area of that one. 0.4772. You subtract from 0.5, and so your answer is 0.0228. This is the probability between sorry probability when z is greater than z1, and this is the probability when x is greater than 60 percent. Now we have to find out the number of students expected to get more than 60 percent marks out of 200. So you multiply this probability value by 200, and if you multiply it by 200, the Total is here forty six. So forty six students approximately ex expected to get more than sixty percent marks. This is your answer. Now next example is here. In a sample of one thousand cases, the mean of a certain test is fourteen and standard deviation is two point five. Assuming the distribution to be normal, find how many students score between twelve and fifteen. How many score above eighteen? How many score below eight? Now, how many score exactly sixteen? So there are four sub questions in question number three. There is a sample of one thousand cases. The mean of a certain test is fourteen. Here, the mean value is given. This is an example of normal distribution because, assuming the distribution to be normal, here it is mentioned. So, it is the question of normal distribution. Here, mean is given. It is fourteen. So right here, mean is fourteen in solution, and standard deviation is two point five. So the value of sigma is two point five, and in a sample means the number of trials are here n is equal to one thousand. Now, the first question is how many students score between twelve and fifteen? This year you assume that how many score between twelve and fifteen means you find the probability between twelve and fifteen. Means your x one is here twelve and your x two is Fifteen. So you convert x one and x two in terms of z one and z two. Now what is uh, the formula for to calculate z one? It is x one minus mu upon sigma. You, you put here the values of x one, mu and sigma, and simplify it. It is it is equal to minus zero point eight. The all the values are here mentioned. Mu is here, sigma is two point five, x one is twelve, x two is fifteen. So you can calculate this z one. Also you can calculate z two. So x two minus mu upon sigma. Put here x two is equal to fifteen. Here uh, consider x two is fifteen. Mu is fourteen and sigma is two point five. Simplify it and the answer is zero point four. So z one is minus zero point eight and z two is zero point four. Okay. Now we want the score between twelve and fifteen means find the probability between twelve and fifteen. Now we have converted that twelve and fifteen in terms of z z one z two. That we have consider twelve uh, as x one, and we have converted it in terms of z one. Its value is minus zero point eight, and we have converted x two in terms of z two to zero point four. So you find the probability between z one and z two. We are going to find the probability between twelve and fifteen. It means we are going to find the probability between z one and z two. Where z one is minus zero point eight, and z two is zero point four. And that z one is negative, and z two is positive. So you draw, draw the The diagram here, the normal curve. See, z1 is negative minus 0.8, so it lies in LHS side of the normal curve. And z2 is equal to 0.4, it is positive, so it lies in the right side of the normal curve. Now we want the area between these two, area between z1 and z2, because we want the probability between z1 and z2. So area between these two, one is positive, second one is negative. One lies in LHS side, one lies in RHS side. So the area between these two is you just do the addition of area of z1 plus area of z2. 
this is the formula and what is the area of z1 and what is the area of z2 you can find the area of z1 z2 from the normal distribution table see what is z1 z1 is minus 0.8 it is minus 0.8 till you find the area of 0.8 0.8 from the normal distribution table 0.8 0.8 it is only the value 0.8 so you take the difference of 0 so you see in first column 0.8 0.7881 and subtract 0.5 from this value 0.7881 subtract 0.5 and so you will get the area here it is 0.2881 then a2 is the area corresponding to z2 z2 is 0.5 you see the area uh, of 0.5 in uh, when the difference is 0 because the value is only 0.4 so difference is of zero and if we see it is in distribution table 0.4 0.4 is here and in the first column because difference is of zero 0.4 it is 0.6554 Sub subtract 0.5 from this value that will be the area of 0.4 and after sub subtracting 0.5 the area is here Zero point one five five four, and you just do the addition of area of Z one plus area of Z two. It is nothing but it is nothing but zero point double four three five. This is the probability between Z one and Z two, and so the required number of students between twelve and fifteen is equal to. Now you multiply this probability by one thousand, and it is equal to four four three point five. Four four three point five means approximately it is four four three. So number of students are four hundred forty three out of one thousand. Score between twelve and fifteen. This is your answer. Okay. Now next is next sub question in the same example is how many score above eighteen? How many score above eighteen? That is to find probability of x is greater than eighteen. This is your x one is here eighteen. Now you convert this x one in terms of z one. And the formula is here x one minus mu upon sigma. Now your x one is eighteen, mu is fourteen, mu mean is given here, mu is fourteen, and sigma is two point five. The mean and standard deviation is same for all sub questions. Mu is fourteen and sigma is two point five. So put here mu and sigma fourteen and two point five respectively. And your x one is eighteen because we find the how many score above eighteen. So x one is eighteen. So if we simplify it, it is one point six. Now you find we are finding here we are going to find the probability of x greater than eighteen. It means you find the probability when z is greater than z one because we have converted x one in terms of z one, and this is one point six. So you find the probability when z is greater than one point six because the value of z one is one point six. One point six. Z is greater than one point six. Now one point six is a positive value. You draw the diagram. And that one point six z is equal to one point six. Z one is equal to one point six. It will it will lie on RHS side of the normal distribution curve, and z one is equal to one point six. Now we want the area when z is greater than one point six. Z is greater means you find the area of this shaded portion. How to find the area of this shaded portion? The complete area from z is equal to zero to right hand side. Complete area is zero point five. This complete area is zero point five, and then from this area you subtract area of z one, one point six. It is nothing but the area of shaded portion. So the formula is zero point five minus area of z one. Area of z one is this blank region of our right side. If we subtract this area from this complete zero point five area, then we have the area of shaded portion, and so it is equal to zero point zero point five minus area of one point six. Now area of 1.6 you can calculate it from the probability distribution table normal distribution table 1.6 you know how to find the area from normal distribution table 1.6 this is 1.6 difference is of 0 because the value is only 1.6 difference is of 0 so the area is 0.94552 subtract 0.5 from this area 0.9452 minus 0.5 and the area will be 0. Four four five two. So here, the area is 
0.4452 and if we subtract from 0.5 it is 0.0548 so this is the probability when z is greater than 1.6 it means this is the probability when x is greater than x18 now we want how many score about 80 now out of 1000 students so it is equal to uh, required number of students is equal to 1000 into the probability 0.0548 and it is nothing but it's nothing but 54.8 54.8 means approximately it is 55 so the number of students who score above 18 equal to 55 okay this is the answer of second sub question now the third sub question in the same uh, question is how many score up below 8 how many score below 8 means that is to find probability when x is less than 8 how many score below it means when x is less than 8. So here x1 is 8. Now x1 is 8 and the mean is mu is 14, sigma is 2.5 here. So you convert that x1 in terms of z1 and so it is x1 minus mu upon sigma. z1 is equal to x1 minus mu upon sigma. This is the formula. Now x1 is equal to 8, mu is 14 and sigma is 2.5. You simplify it and then uh, z1 is equal to minus 2.4 the value of z1 is negative so if we draw the diagram that z1 will be in the uh, lhs side of the normal distribution curve z1 is equal to minus 2.4 now we want the probability of x less than 8 so i converted that x in terms of z and so we want the probability of z less than z1 because we have converted that x1 in terms of z1 what is z1 minus 2.4 so you find a probability when z is less than minus 2.4. Now z is here, uh, z1 is here, minus 2.4 in RH LHS side of the normal distribution curve. Now we want the probability when z is less than minus 2.4, means the uh, probability of the shaded portion, because it is less than minus 2.4. Now how to calculate the probability of this region? The area of this complete uh, left hand side region is 0.5. You subtract the area of Z1, means this blank portion of RHS side. This, if we subtract this area from this complete 0 0.5, we have the area of shaded portion because the area is nothing but the probability of the required region. And so it is equal to 0 0.5 minus area of 2.4. Actually, the value of Z1 is minus 2.4, but we when we find the area at that time, we take it positive 2.5. We find the area of 2.4. And the area of 2.4 from the probability distribution table is 0.4918. You, now you can easily find the area of 2.4. You just go uh, to the table, go through the table of normal distribution and you find the area of 2.4, difference is of zero. So you will get it 0.4918. You know, every time you have to subtract 0.5 from that value. If we uh, subtract 0.5 from the area and the, the exact area is 0 0.4918 and this subtraction is 0 0.0083. So this is the probability when x is less than 8, I mean, how many score below 8? For that, this is the probability 0 0.0083. And we want the required number of students out of 1000. So you multiply this probability by 1000 and if we multiply it by 1000, the answer is 8.2. Means approximately eight students are there you score below eight okay now the next question is next next sub question is here the next sub question and last sub question is here how many score exactly 16 how many score 16 exactly that is to find probability between 15.5 and 16.5. How many score exactly 16? That is to find probability between 15.5 to 16.5. Because the average of 15.5 and 16.5 is 16. So that we are going to find the probability between 15.5 and 16.5. Since here you assume x1 is 15.5 and x2 is 16.5. Now you convert x1, x2 in terms of z1, z2. So z1 is x1 minus mu upon sigma. 
here put the value of x1 mu and sigma and simplify it to 0.6 you know that x1 is here 15.5 mu mu is the same value mu and sigma same for this throughout this example it is 14 and 2.5 respectively put here the value and you just simplify it is 0.6 then z2 to calculate z2 the formula is x2 minus mu upon sigma x2 is here 16.5 minus mu is 14 sigma is 2.5 if we simplify it it is equal to 1 z2 is 1 now z1 is 0 0.6 and z2 is 1 both are positive z1 z2 so if we draw the diagram z1 and z2 both lie in rhs side of the normal distribution curve Z1 is equal to 0 0.6 is here, and Z2 is equal to 1 is this line. And we want the area between these two, between this Z1 and Z2. So it is nothing but the area of biggest uh, one, means area of Z2 is big, bigger than Z1. So area of Z2 minus area of Z1 is nothing but the area of shaded portion. So when we find the probability between 15.5 and 16.5, we have converted that 15.5 and 16.5 means x1, x2 in terms of z1, z2. And the values of z1, z2 are here 0 0.6 and 1. So you find the probability between 0 0.6 and 1. Means you find the area between 1. 1 is the big value as compared to 0 0.6. So, the, so you subtract the area of 0 0.6 from area of 1 because both z1 z2 are positive so we have to subtract the area from bigger one to smaller one and the bigger one is here one its uh, area is 0 0.3413 from the normal distribution table and area of 0 0.6 is 0 0.2257 from above three sub questions you know how to find the area from the normal distribution table you see the normal distribution table and there you find the area of one 1.0 and difference is of zero. So the area, you will get some value. You subtract 0 0.5 from that value. That will be the area of one. Area of 0 0.6, you see the normal distribution table. See the area of 0 0.6 and difference is of zero. Then you will get some value. Subtract 0 0.5 from that value. And that then you will get this area, 0 0.2257. And if we subtract these two areas here, then the answer is 0 0.1156. We are subtracting areas because Z1 and Z2 both are positive. They both lie in RHS side of the normal distribution curve. And we have to subtract the area of bigger one to area, the area of biggest one minus area of smallest one. So that we have the probability between Z1 and Z2. And it is equal to 0 0.1156. Now this is the probability between Z1 and Z2. Now we want the required number of students uh, score six, exactly 16 out of 1000. So you multiply the probability by 1000 and we have the answer 115.6. 115.6 approximately 116. So 116 students are there who score exactly 16. So this is your answer. And these are the sub questions in the question number three, last sub question in the question number. Three. So here the all the uh, all types of examples of normal distribution are over here, and this uh, normal distribution is over here. Also, this unit probability and probability distribution is over here. Thank you.